Hello everybody. Thank you for joining me for this virtual open day presentation. My name is Dr. Simon Peel and I am the College Director of the University of Waikato College. And it's my pleasure to talk to you a bit about the college, the university and the programs that we offer. So you'll see on the map where New Zealand is located and the University of Waikato campus is located in Hamilton, which is a major city one and a half hours drive south of Auckland International Airport. Our other campus is at Tauranga on the coast. So why choose New Zealand for your education? Well, the main reason, the first reason, is quality. All New Zealand universities are ranked uh, in the top 500 in the world. There are eight universities in New Zealand and they are all high quality. It's a safe country. In fact, it's the second most peaceful country in the world, according to the Global Peace Index. Another good reason is work opportunities. Many international students are eligible for a three-year work visa after graduation. A very important reason is the quality of life in New Zealand. Easygoing lifestyle, stunning natural beauty. New Zealand is a relatively small country with five million people. Uh, New Zealanders are interested in outdoors, they're interested in sport, they're interested in the rest of the world. So in short, it's a great place to study. Employability is another reason why some students choose New Zealand. Because it has a strong economy that's projected to do well in the coming years and has skill shortages in several important areas. So the post-study work pathway is something that many students consider is important uh, because a three-year visa after study is very important. So let's talk about COVID-19. Of course, it's a big challenge for everybody. Um, and it means that the borders are currently closed and visas for new students will not be processed until at least February 2022. And so we'll be teaching fully online to those new international students. For our students in New Zealand, we teach face to face, but for everybody else, we'll teach online. Students will be able to come to New Zealand and continue their studies face to face when the borders reopen. So to make things easier for students applying, we can uh, accept provisional and calculated grades. We also accept a range of English tests and we provide full online support for all of our students. So I'd like to tell you a bit about the University of Waikato. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's located in Hamilton, the main campus, and also in Tauranga. These are in the North Island of New Zealand. Uh, 12,000 students, uh, 2,000 international students. And the university itself is famous for, for certain things. It's famous for its management school, which is in the top 1% of management schools. Uh, it's famous for its computing facilities. It's famous for its commitment to uh, the environment and sustainability. And an important feature of many programs at the university is the focus on internships and work placement. We know that the kind of work experience will help students uh, in their later careers. The cost is also an important factor and New Zealand is a cheaper country to study in than some other countries and living in Hamilton is cheaper than living in some major cities like Auckland, Sydney or Melbourne. So here's a picture of Hamilton City and the river, the Waikato River, which the university is named after. Uh, and here's a picture of the campus. And it's important to note that the University of Waikato is a campus university with uh, that means that it's, it's a full living community. We have students living in the halls of residence, we have the sports facilities, recreation facilities, all the teaching, research facilities, all located on one campus, which is a good selling point for students who want a traditional campus experience. The other opportunity for our students is to study in Tauranga, which is a beautiful city located on the coast with beautiful beaches. It's a purpose-built 
new campus built in uh, 2019, uh, which has high class facilities and uh, to go along with the high quality teaching and research. Tauranga is a fast growing city for obvious reasons. It's, uh, it's a beautiful location uh, and we offer a range of programs at that campus and students starting their studies face to face in Tauranga are eligible for fees bursary. So as a comprehensive university, the University of Waikato has many of the areas that you would expect to see in a large university. Arts, psychology, social sciences, computing, mathematical sciences, education, engineering, health, science, the management school, faculty of law, faculty of Maori and indigenous studies, the University of Waikato College that I am the director of, and the School of Graduate Research, which is for our doctoral students. But let me tell you a bit about the college. So the University of Waikato College exists to provide students with a pathway into most undergraduate and postgraduate courses that they might want to study. So it's an international college uh, with a range of programs for international students including academic English programs, standard and accelerated foundation program, uh, international diplomas, which are the first year of bachelor's degree, uh, and a pre-master's program. Uh, all of our programs are taught by qualified, experienced teachers who um, understand international students and have lots of experience teaching international students. Uh, we keep our class sizes small so that we can provide individual attention and provide a supportive personal learning environment. We have student advisors who speak the key languages that our students speak and we are based in the middle of the campus which means that our students have exactly the same access to facilities as other students at the university. All of the students in the, in the college are university students from day one. So let's talk about the programs we offer in the college. And the first one I'll talk about is the Certificate of Attainment in English Language. So this is for international students who need to improve their English language skills in order to get into whichever degree they choose. And um, by completing this course, it means the students don't need to do an IELTS test. Uh, completion of our English language program will give entry into degree studies. We have multiple intakes during the year so there's always an English language course about to start soon. Now we teach the academic English program at multiple levels. So looking at the bottom first, level 8 is our highest level. That is the level that students must complete if they wish to do postgraduate study. So students will study level 8 and go on to a master's degree. Level 7 gives access to most undergraduate degrees. Level 6 gives access to our Foundation Studies program or international diplomas. And the other levels below that allow students to progress through each of the levels so that they can get to the level they need to get into the degree that they need. Foundation Studies is obviously one of our most important programs. And we have two versions of foundation studies, a shorter version for students who have uh, more academic background and uh, a standard version. Both of these programs have a mixture of compulsory courses and elective courses and uh, combine uh, academic English uh, with um, those uh, range of electives students can choose based on which degree they want to progress into. The short version is one trimester of study five months uh, and the longer version is two trimesters of studies either eight or nine months. Completion of the Foundation Studies program will give students entry into all bachelor's degrees in the university. International Diploma of Business is our newest program that we launched at the beginning of this year. The International Diploma of Business is essentially the first year of the Bachelor of Business plus academic skills and academic English. 
So students who successfully complete the International Diploma of Business progress into year two of the Bachelor of Business. Um, is the, um, obviously the business school, as I mentioned before, is triple crown accredited, which means it's the top 1% of business schools in the world. And as I mentioned, essentially the International Diploma of Business is all of the basic Bachelor of Business courses plus English academic skills development. You can complete it in one year, 12 months, uh, with three trimesters of study, which means that you can do the International Diploma, progress to the second year of Bachelor of Business, complete the whole thing in three years. Now, very same thing applies to the International Diploma of Computer Science, except that the students who complete this program will progress into the second year of either the Bachelor of Science or the Bachelor of Computer Science. So essentially we have the first year of those bachelor's degrees plus academic and English development uh, and we complete all of that in 12 months, three trimesters of study and then the students who are successful in completing the International Diploma will progress into the second year of either of those two bachelor's degrees, either the Bachelor of Science Computing or the Bachelor of Computer Science, depending on what the interest is. Coming up later this year, we will offer uh, our next new program. We will launch the Diploma in Postgraduate Preparation, which is our pre-master's program. So this is designed to allow international students who don't have a New Zealand Bachelor degree uh, or the equivalents of a New Zealand Bachelor degree to progress into postgraduate studies. Uh, it's a two trimester program, eight months, 120 credit, level seven diploma, uh, and it offers an alternative pathway for international students into a range of master's degrees in either business or information technology. Uh, so, in order to enter our pre-master's program, you must have completed at least two years of tertiary study and achieved a qualification that is at least equivalent to a New Zealand Level 6 uh, NZQF, New Zealand Qualification Framework Level 6 qualification, which means that uh, a Dajuan qualification or an associate degree or an advanced diploma uh, will meet the entry for pre-master's Students must also have IELTS 6.0. If you don't have IELTS 6.0, then you can study our academic English program first before progressing into this one. So we think this is a really exciting program uh, because it offers an opportunity for students who do not have, for example, a degree in business to do a master's degree in business by uh, having some previous academic study uh, and then this uh, pre-master's program, then they can enter, uh, for example, the Master of Business Management. So scholarships are very important to most students and so uh, there are a range of scholarships available for all the different programs. So I won't go into details about all of them because it all depends on um, the circumstances of the student and what you might be applying for. But there are a range of scholarship programs available to support students. And for those students who are able to, to come to campus when the borders reopen, as I mentioned before, there are some great accommodation options on campus. Students can uh, choose between uh, catered halls where all meals are provided, um, you have a private bedroom, um, and you know good for those students who don't want to cook and for those students who want to cook their own food or share with others um, we have other accommodation options uh, and of course the, the, the price of those uh, is listed also on this slide so we've come to the end of the presentation now and I want to thank you for your time and attention and direct you to the websites at the bottom of the page pathways.waikato.ac.nz is our college website where you can find more information about all of our programs. pathways.waikato.ac.nz and uh, pretty much everything that you would need to know is listed on that website.
Thank you for your attention and I do hope we can see you at the University of Waikato.